Hello friends, welcome to Zeta Access and today we are going to discuss about different divisions of Northern Plains based on region. The Northern Plains is also called Indo-Gangetic Brahmaputra Plains because the plain was formed by alluvial deposits from three rivers, Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra along with their tributaries. The Northern Plains is also one of the physiological divisions of India along with Northern Mountains, Thar Desert, Peninsular Plateau region, coastal plains and islands of India. The Northern Plains are world's largest alluvial plain spreading over 700,000 square kilometer, encompassing northern regions of Indian subcontinent spreading from Pakistani Punjab to Indian Punjab, extending into Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Assam and West Bengal and finally whole of Bangladesh is covered in Northern Plains. The southern parts of Nepal are also part of Northern Plains. The Northern Plains is bounded on the north by Himalayas, which provides water to numerous rivers and are source of the fertile alluvium deposits across the region which are brought by these river systems. The southern edge of Northern Plains is marked by Deccan Plateau and on the west we see Suleiman and Kirthar Mountains, while on the eastern side we see Northern Eastern Himalayas or Purvanchal Himalayas. The Northern Plains is divided into two drainage basins by the Aravli Mountains in Delhi region. The western part drains into Indus river system and the eastern part drains into Ganga or Brahmaputra river system. This water divide between the Indus river system and the Ganga river system is only 350 meters above sea level. Therefore, the Northern Plains is virtually continuous from Sindh in the west to Bengal or Assam in the east. Now let's see region-wise classification of Northern Plains. In the north, it is called Jammu Plains. On the western side of Northern Plains, we have Punjab Plains which extends in eastern Pakistan and northwestern India. In the western part of Northern Plains, we see Sindh Plains which is located in southern part of Pakistan and south of Sindh Plains, we have Indus Delta region that is also in southern Pakistan and western India. In India, the Northern Plains can be further divided into Rajasthan Plains, the Ganga Yamuna Dub region, the Rohil Khand Plains, Avad Plains, North and South, Bihar Plains, North Bengal Plains, the Ganga Delta in India as well as Bangladesh and the Brahmaputra Valley in the east. So let's see each of these divisions with little more detail. The western part of indo gangetic Plains in India is called Rajasthan Plain, where the Rajasthan Plains is located on western side of Aravli Mountains. The Rajasthan Plain can be further divided into two parts, Marusthali and Rajasthan Bagad region. The Marusthali is the western part of Rajasthan Plain and it is a full-fledged Thar Desert with vast stretch of sand dunes. The Marusthali also covers region of Marwar Plains. The eastern part of Marusthali is partially rocky, while western part of Marusthali is completely covered with sand and moving sand dunes. These sifting and moving sand dunes are locally known as Dhrian. The Marusthali sand is wind deposited sand that has accumulated over past 1.8 million years ago. The Thar deserts lie over Archean Nisus rocks formed from 4 billion to 2.5 billion years ago. Then Proterozoic sedimentary rocks formed between 2.5 billion to 541 million years and more recent alluvium material deposited by the rivers flowing from Himalayas. The Marusthali is actually an extension of peninsular plateau where the peninsular rocks are buried under wind deposited sands. The second part of Rajasthan Plains is Rajasthan Bagar, which lies east of Marusthali and west of Aravli. The Rajasthan Bagar region has mostly arid or semi-arid climate with very little rainfall. The Bagar region has potentially very fertile alluvial soil interspersed with highly permeable very sandy tracts in several places. The fertile regions are formed around river streams originating from Aravli and draining into Bagar region. The Luni River is one such important river which originates from Aravli and flows through the Bagar region. Numerous fertile lands are found around the Luni River. 
Now the next division of Gangtic Plains is Punjab Haryana Plains. The Punjab Haryana Plain is located towards east and northeast of Rajasthan Plains, spread over states of Punjab and Haryana. The region has sloped towards southwest, which can be seen in flow of rivers in this region. The Punjab Plains are mainly formed by five rivers: Chhelam, Chenab, Ravi, Pease, and Satluj, all of which are tributaries of Indus River. And it is these five rivers which give the region name Punjab, meaning land of fire rivers. The Punjab part of Northern Plains is further divided into dubs, where the dub is a land formed of alluvium in between two rivers. The dubs of Punjab Plains are Pisht Dub lying between the Bees and the Satluj River, Bari Dub lying between Bees and Ravi River, Rachna Dub lying between Ravi and Chenab River, Chhaj Dub lying between Chenab and Chhelam River and Singh Sagar Dub lying between Jhelum, Chenab and Indus River. Now let's see some of the important features of Punjab Plains. The first is wetlands. Tibetlands are khadda rich floodplains wherein fertile soils are deposited annually making them very fertile. Basically the region around the rivers in every few years gets fresh deposition of alluvial soil due to flooding of rivers. These regions of fresh deposition of alluvium soil is called khadda deposits while the regions with old alluvial soil is called Bangar soil. The Khadar deposits are called wetlands or beds in Punjab plains. The next important feature of Punjab plains are dhayas, which are raised landforms around the flood plains of rivers, as you can see in this figure. The next important feature of Punjab plains are Chos. From the Siva lakes, a large number of river streams flow into Punjab plains, which cause very heavy erosion in the plains. These river streams are called Chos. The chos are seasonal and remain flooded during monsoon while dry during summer and winter seasons. Next important part of northern plains is Ganga plain which is the largest section of northern plains. It is bounded by Aravlis in the west and Siwaliks in north and east. In south, peninsular plateau forms boundary of Ganga plains. The northern plains spreads from Delhi in the west to Kolkata passing through states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. The northern plains further extends into Bangladesh. The northern plains is formed by alluvial deposition of Ganga river along with its tributaries. The northern plain in this region slopes towards east which can be seen in flow of rivers in this region. The Ganga plains can be further divided into three sections. The first is upper Ganga plain, middle Ganga plain and lower Ganga plain. The upper Ganga plain is westernmost part of Ganga plain and spread over west Uttar Pradesh. The upper Ganga plain covers Rohilkhand plains, Ganga Yamuna Dub region and the Yamuna Chambal basin. The Rohilkhand plains include Sarda and Ram Ganga Dub region. The next part of upper Ganga plains are Ganga Yamuna Dub region which is the largest Dub region in whole country. The third part of upper Ganga plains are Yamuna Chambal basin which is spread across northern Madhya Pradesh and southern Uttar Pradesh. The Yamuna Chambal basin has badlands which are formed by erosion. These regions have degraded soil, which is not fit for agriculture. Some important features of Upper Ganga Plains are ray or color, which are barren saline efflorescences seen as white layer on soil. These are formed in arid or dry regions where water on land surface evaporates and water from lower part of soil rises up due to capillary action. This rising water has several salts dissolved in it. When the water reaches surface, it evaporates, leaving behind dissolved salts which forms a white colored layer on soil which is called ray. The second feature of upper Ganga plains is Kankar nodules which are calcareous deposits found in the Bhangar region of upper Ganga plains. The Kankar nodules are formed by weathering of rocks. The third feature of upper Ganga plains is Bhur deposits which are raised land formation along the banks of Ganga and Yamuna rivers in India's upper Ganga Yamuna too. It is made up of wind blown sand that accumulates during the hot dry months of the year. Bhur terraces often contain calcareous concentrations called Kankar. Now the next important part of northern plains is Middle Ganga plain which covers eastern part of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. The Middle Ganga Plain has very low gradient, therefore the rivers flow sluggishly forming oxbow lakes and rivers in this region are known to shift course and cause massive flooding. 
river kosi in particular is known for shifting course and causing floodings in the region and therefore it is called sorrow of bihar the middle ganga plain includes avadh plains which includes khagra and gomti doob region and other east up region next the middle ganga plain includes north bihar and south bihar plains the north bihar plains includes mithila plain lying between gandak and kosi river and this region is prone to flooding south bihar region includes magadh plain located east of son river the next part of ganga plains is lower ganga plains the lower ganga plain covers whole of west bengal and bangladesh the lower ganga plains are bounded by darjeeling himalayas in the north bay of bengal in the south chhota nagpur plateau in the west and purvanchal himalayas in the east the lower ganga plain includes the north bengal plain rar plains and delta region of ganga and brahmaputra the north bengal plain region is spread in northern part of west bengal the lower ganga plain further includes rar plains which is spread over western west bengal on the east of chhota nagpur plateau and the third part of lower ganga plains are delta region of ganga and brahmaputra it is formed by the merger of ganga brahmaputra and meghna river and it is spread over southern west bengal and southern bangladesh the ganga river flowing here is braided channel forming lakes and marshy lands the delta includes famous sundarban forest spread across west bengal and bangladesh the sundarbans are named after sundri trees which are in abundance in the region the sundarbans are famous for mangrove forest and royal bengal tigers the easternmost part of indo gangetic plain is brahmaputra the brahmaputra plain is built by deposition of brahmaputra river and its tributaries the brahmaputra plains is bounded by himalayas in the north atkai bum and naga hills in the east garo khasi and jaintia and mikir hills in the south the rivers in this region after exiting shivalik flow swiftly towards valley forming large alluvial fans and sandbars all the tributaries along with the brahmaputra forms a plain region in the assam valley after exiting the assam valley the brahmaputra river flows in bangladesh and it forms delta along with ganga and meghna river this is how northern plains are divided into different regions i hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video then do subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends if you like what we are doing then you can support us using the upi id shared over here thanks for watching the video